Hello and welcome to Cracksoid. Today in this video, I'll show you how to update custom ROM by Dirty Flash without formatting and losing any data. I'll demonstrate every possible methods for dirty flashing, including methods for both encrypted and decrypted devices. As in our previous video, we tried to install OTA updates on custom recovery through its updater available in settings section. And now in this video, I'll show you how to do dirty flash and update to the latest version of custom room. I'll also be showing every possible methods to do dirty flash. Whether you are an experienced room user or a beginner, this video is for you because you'll learn the ins and outs of dirty flashing step by step. So let's get started. Before we begin with the dirty flashing process, let me give you some important information. As you can see, I have Project LXR 3.5 ROM installed on my device, which I'll be updating to its successor version, Project LXR 3.6. It's crucial to note that dirty flashing can sometimes cause unexpected issues and it is recommended that you back up all your data before attempting it. This way, in case anything goes wrong, you won't lose any critical data. Now I'll be updating this ROM to its successor version, which is Project LXR 3.6. It's important to know that you can only do a dirty flash from one version to the next successor version. Let's first go over the process for a decrypted device. You can check if your phone is encrypted or not by going to the security setting. Within security, navigate to the advanced option and there you can view the encryption status of your phone. As you can see, my phone is not encrypted. To perform a dirty flash, we need to have the successor ROM file downloaded. In this case, I have already downloaded Project LXR 3.6 and stored it on my internal storage, which I can access from custom recovery as my phone is not encrypted. Additionally, we need a disable DM Verity Force Encrypt zip file that is specific to our phone. You can search for this file on Google XDA or a Telegram group. I have already downloaded this file as well. Now I'll need to reboot my phone into custom recovery mode to begin the dirty flashing process. Before proceeding with the installation process, let me tell you it's always advisable to take a complete backup of your device data. Also ensure that you have removed any screen lock, pattern, pin, fingerprint or any biometric sensor that may cause any error while updating. As you can see, I have installed the Orange Fox custom recovery on my device which not only allows me to access the internal storage but also offers several advanced features for a seamless installation process. The first step is to clear the cache partition, which will help in resolving any performance related issues. To do this, go to the wipe section and select the first two options, Dalvik slash art, cache and cache partition. Swipe right to wipe them. Next, we need to install the ROM GIF file that you have downloaded. Go to the file section, locate the file and tap on it. Swipe right to install it. This process may take some time, so be patient and do not interrupt it. Once the flashing process is completed, we need to flash the disabled DM Verity GIF file. This file is essential to ensure that your device system integrity is maintained. Go back to the file section, locate the file and tap on it. Swipe right to flash it. Now that we have flashed all the necessary files, it's time to reboot our phone to the system. Tap on the reboot system button. If your phone is decrypted, you don't need to format it and this is one of the benefits of decrypting your phone. After the phone is rebooted, you will see that it didn't go through the boot setup process and all your data and settings are intact. However, if some apps are not working correctly, you can try for stopping them, clearing their data or reinstalling them. And if you look at its about phone section, you will find that it's now updated to latest version, which is Project LXR 3.6. And also it has Android security update of February 5, 2023. And now I'll show the encryption status from security setting. And as you can see, my phone is still not encrypted. So by using the dirty flash method, you can also update your custom ROM to the latest version without losing any app data or formatting your phone on decrypted phone. This method is safe and straightforward to follow, making it a convenient option for users who want to keep their data intact while updating their custom ROM. Now let's move on to updating an encrypted device. If your device is encrypted, pay close attention to these steps for installing OTA updates on a custom ROM. 
First, let me show you the encryption status on my phone. As you can see, my phone is currently encrypted and running on Project Elixir version 3.5. Encryption is a security feature that helps protect your data from unauthorized access, even if your device falls into the wrong hands. That's why we'll be using a dotty flash method to update the room. To do this, you will need to download the latest version of the Project Elixir 3.6 room. Most custom rooms provide a full room package instead of an ODA update. This means that you will need to flash the entire room instead of just installing a small update. I have already downloaded the room file and stored it on my micro SD card. If your phone is encrypted, you will need to store the room file on your micro SD card or a pen drive that requires an OTG cable to access. In my case, I have stored the room file on my SD card. Once you have downloaded the file, simply reboot your phone to recovery mode. I have Orange Fox custom recovery installed, but this should work properly on any custom recovery. Recovery mode is a special boot mode that allows you to perform various system level operations such as flashing rooms, wiping partition and more. Since my phone is encrypted, I cannot access my internal storage which is showing up as random numbers and names in encrypted form. That's why we have stored our ROM file on the SD card. Next, we need to clear some partitions to avoid potential conflicts with the new room. Go to the wipe section and select dalvik slash artcast and cache partition. Then swipe right to wipe them. These partitions store temporary data and cache files and can sometimes cause issues when switching to a new room. After completing the wiping process, go back to the main menu, navigate to the folder where you stored the room file and select it. Swipe right to flash the ROM. The flashing process will take several minutes depending on the size of the ROM file and the speed of your device. Once the flashing process is complete, simply tap on reboot system button. It will take some time to reboot to the system but once it's done, your phone will be successfully updated to the new ROM. I'll go directly to the about phone section to show you that the ROM version is now Project Alexia 3.6 with an Android security update from February 5, 2023. And I'll also show you the encryption status from security setting and as you can also see this phone is still in its encrypted form. So in this way you can also do dirty flash and update your custom ROM to its successor latest version on both encrypted as well as on decrypted phone. There is also another method that you can perform using ADB sideload method with and without using PC. And I don't have PC and extra phone right now to showcase the ADB sideload process but I have already made lots of videos regarding ADB sideload to install ROM. You can check that video from the description section below. Thank you for watching this video on updating your custom ROM. I hope you found the information helpful and if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please show your support by liking and sharing it with others. It really helps our channel grow and reach more people who need this information. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Cracksuit for more helpful content like this. We'll be back soon with another video. So stay tuned. We'll see you in next video. Bye.